It would help if I had my, my microphone in place. Anyways, hey guys, welcome back to Plushies. Oh my goodness. It's, it's been a day for me already. I can feel it. Ooh. Ooh, we got a key early. Awesome. Alright, so, welcome back to Plushies. Now, I've been playing this a little bit in my, my free time, and I'm not going to guarantee I can win, because I know full well that, you know, that's just, that's just silly. But, I did find a few little tidbits that might hopefully help me out. Might hopefully. No guarantees, nothing like that. But, I did find out there are a handful of tells related to certain related to certain of the um, ah, I didn't wait long enough <clears throat> so there's a handful of tells to <laughs> certain ones uh, certain of the little plushies I keep on I keep wanting to say uh, animatronics because I'm, I'm just uh, so used to that being the the huge thing. If you guys spend any time looking around in Game Jolt, you'll find a whole slew of um, of uh, the Five Nights at Freddy's ripoffs. I, I call them ripoffs because, well, I mean, ninety percent of the time they retexture them. They're very little build from the ground up. You know, and that's that's fine. It's whatever. I'm. I thought the uh, I thought the Five Nights series was interesting, but it's not really my not really my thing. I'm more I'm more of a, a story driven gamer. All right. So there's there's no keys there or there. So what happened to the keys? And that's one thing about this series. It's it's um, it seems to be random at certain points, with the key placement. I don't know if that's true or if I just hold on to the keys or what, but uh, <clears throat> all right. Let's. Oh, crap! I'm eating. I'm getting. Am I, am I eating? No, I'm not eating. Ha! Ha! Blushy! Ha ha ha! You know, guys, it's it's the little the little. Uh... Oh! 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 Ah! But you saw it there on the wall. The three red marks that went on the wall. Um. Each each little plushie has a has a tell. Well, not each one. So far, I've only found a, a, a couple of them that have tells. So, oh, excuse me. But there there's a few little things that can help you help you out. Like if you you have to notice them fast enough, and that's one thing is I get distracted and I'm not paying attention. Is uh, the by the light switches, and there's one other place I've seen, or I've noticed, where the uh, little claw marks appear on the wall. There's three red claw marks, kind of like a crescent moon shape almost. But they'll appear, and if you stay close to that, then the owl gets you. Um, <coughs> with these, uh, with these, these drawers, if you get close to them and they start to open up, you got to get away from them because there's a crocodile that'll pop out. The, uh, let's see, there's a oh, crud. I've forgotten now. There's the, um, I can't open the bottom one. That bothers me. Anyways, uh, but there's the, Sorry guys, I'm really I'm I'm trying really to pay attention so that way I don't die so much. I kind of would like to die less in this series. I would like to make it through the game. Oh, and I didn't get away fast enough. But you saw the drawers opened up and then the crocodile pops out. The 
uh, let's see, let's actually go to the main screen here. The, I don't know about the panda, uh, there's this thing that looks like a really creepy monkey, that might be the panda. And the little tiger down there at the corner of the bed. Those two seem to just pop up. And I would love, I would love to have a, a sprint mechanic, even for a little kid, just to get away. Just, even if it was just a few seconds, just ch -ch -ch, run away. That would be really nice. And you're not safe looking in those, those, uh, the drawers. If you spend too much time looking in the drawer, then the plush will pop out at you anyways, regardless. So, that's not a safe spot. I hope I'm in a safe place right now. Um, <clears throat> I hope. You guys, uh, forgive me, I've been doing a lot of talking today. My throat is really dry. I'm trying to stay hydrated, but it's not, it's not working out so well for me because obviously I'm still talking. <laughs> One of these days, I'll find a way to just give my voice a rest for a day or two. But anyways, so we've got, but we've got a number of cool mechanics to this game. One being an active teleport system, so the, the plushies will, will actively show up and disappear. Then you've got the... Uh, then you have the... Like, active attack system. Get away, get away, get away. Aha! Yeah. Ha! Screw you. Crocodile. I got the key. Yeah. Run it away. Like a scared little kid. Get away from me. Anyways, <laughs> um, let's see, let's come back over here. All right, so I think in, in playing this, I notice as long as whatever area is up on the screen, if I try to go to that area while it's still up on the screen, I'm okay, at least for a little while. Um, if it's static, then there's bad things that happen. <clears throat> now, you've got like an active teleport system with two of the plushies where they'll they'll teleport in and then they'll disappear. The bad thing is that they will pop in and pop out. So they might not be there and then you're walking and they pop in like right on top of you. It kind of sucks, but it happens. It's whatever, you know. Then you've got the um, hiding mechanic where certain ones will... Uh, Um, with the owl, it's the claw marks. My guess is that he's like, uh, you know, under a bed or he's in a cupboard or he's in a set of drawers. You get close, the claw marks happen. If you don't get away, jump scare. But we need to go, let's see, we found what, two keys, I think? I think maybe two keys, one key. No, no, we found... Oh crap, I can't remember how many keys I found. But I think the farthest I've ever gotten is I've, I've gotten um, three keys. And usually by three keys I end up dying. Which sucks, but, you know, hi, bye. See, active teleporting. It's not so bad unless they teleport on top of you. That sucks. Nothing there. Okay, um, wait for it, okay, Whew. I thought for sure he was going to like teleport, because he likes to teleport in right on the other, yep, there he is again, hi, because he likes to teleport in, oh crap, ah, oh, I knew it, oh, that owl always gets me, always gets me. You know what, Owl? I don't like you. I used to like owls. Owls owls were neat. Now, I'm starting to dislike owls. Ah, goodness. Anyways. This this game kind of gets to me at, at points, I think. Mostly because, as a, as a kid... Um, ah, okay, exit. There we go. I think because as a kid, uh, I got two older sisters, and they used to collect things, uh, little figurines and and uh, 
and see figurines, uh, porcelain dolls, and stuffed animals or plushies. Very terrifying. When I was a little kid, my, my sisters would tell me to go grab something from their room. I would pretty much like open the door and stop and just be like freaked out because, well, you open their door and there would be all these eyes staring at you as soon as you as soon as, as soon as you stepped in, and they they would put these things up on uh, like really nice um, uh, displays, like they would have them set up so y you could enjoy them and they were really neat whoa hi yeah it's right better close up there jerk give me that key Take it away run away oh come on i didn't even see anything oh so close so close ah. and sweet dreams ha 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 yes the plushies put you to bed in pieces anyways uh <laughs> So you would, as a as a little kid, I would I would I would always try and stay away from my sister's rooms, which was a great thing on their part because otherwise, I, I was I was a horrible little kid. I'd go mess up my sister's rooms and then run away, and go play my games or whatever, go play outside. My sister would get so mad at me. So then I think that's actually why they started putting like these things up on the up on the walls and why they'd start displaying them. It was just so I would stay away from their rooms. Ah, oh, come on. Where's the tell? I didn't even see it. I didn't see the tell. I was so busy telling a stupid story about me as a little kid. All right, okay. Last, I think this will be the last run of this house. I really kind of wanted to beat each level legitimately, like find all the keys, but like I said, the best I found is three keys. I haven't found, or I haven't been able to find all four of the keys to try and advance the story. Which kind of sucks. I don't know if I'm just not good at the game, or if I, there's a random placement to the... Okay, that room's safe. Or if there's, like, random placement to the keys, so I'm, I'm missing it. I don't... I don't know. But, uh... <clears throat> All right, so there's one key. Okay, so I have one key. All right, okay, we're good. We're good. All right. Then you go back up top. But yeah, I don't know if there's a random placement to the keys, or, or if there's there's something more to it. I am I'm not a hundred percent. It may be that they're random, or or it may be that they they. You know, there's there's X amount of places that they can be, and it's in one of those X places. Uh, not 100%. Like I said, the, the most I found is three keys. I've never been able to find the last one. And usually by the time I get those, you know, I get two keys, then the little plushies become more frequent and like popping up on me. And at three keys, it's just like you, you have to be extremely careful. All right, I don't see anything there, so we can go that way now. Um, at three keys, you have to be just on it paying attention to every small detail. Which, I mean, that works, right? I wish the light would stay on. I really do. Ah, nope. And this is, this is rough at one key. I, oh man. I would hope that once you got all four keys that it would automatically end the level. Because if you had to then try and find your way out, it would, you'd get massacred so fast. It would be horrible. But, anyways, <clears throat> apparently I'm not doing too well with Laura's house. So let's let's move on. Let's let's try the lake house. I really I don't want to do. I don't want to move on to a new level. I really don't. But 
uh, you know, I want to I wanna showcase more of the game. I don't want to just keep showing me dying at the same freaking level every time. I want to show off this game. I think it looks neat. And I, I love the, I love the, well, everything about it. Oh, what? You can, you can, oh, man. Oh, no. Oh. God. Yeah, you, you're, you're creepy, dude. What the heck, what was that all about? I don't even know what that was about. Freaking weirdo. <laughs> what is this like? Uh, um, what is this? Oh, crud. What is that? What is the name of that lake with uh, the first Jason movie? Oh, God. That takes me back. Uh, what was that? What was that? It was Camp. Camp. I don't know. All that comes to mind is Camp Crystal Lake, but I know that's not it. All right, so we got some weird dude in a... All right, all right, there, oh, oh. There's some drawers there. We're, we'll go, oh, hi. Yeah, you shut you shut them drawers. You close them up. I'm not going near you like that. No, no way. No. Hey, hey, I said, I said close, close the drawers. Yeah, better listen to me. I'm like an eight-year-old little girl. Oh, oh come on. He closed the doors. He wasn't there. Man. Okay. All right. Okay. It's all right. It's okay. All right. We'll just... We'll just deal with the, uh... What's the creepy guy there? Weirdo. I wonder if I should leave these open. Yep. Hi. Can I leave? Okay. Weirdo. Anyways. Uh, <laughs> things like that, they don't even affect me. It's the it's the things flying at your face that that uh, actually get to me. It's kind of funny. Okay, we're going to... Okay. I'm thinking that drawers set is a, is a, is a trap. And I think you just got to get past it. So we're going to head over here. We're going to go up. Ooh. Okay, so nothing there. <clears throat> I hope. Nope, nothing there. Oh, oh, come on. Come on, no tell, no nothing. You just get jump killed right there. Ah, the, oh, come on. I just want to explore a little bit. I have a feeling like it's it's each level is just gonna get harder and harder. So you're just gonna be like stuck with uh Alright. Hi. Yep. Can I close the door? That'd be great. Weirdo. What is it what is that? Is that what is it? Is that like uh I mean I don't even know what the, what that what that is supposed to be. I don't have any idea. Okay, so that's what the that's where the like living room is, I guess. I don't really know. There is the bedroom. That's where we just were, I think. Oh, excuse me. Um, I think that's our bedroom, or where we were sleeping, anyways. <clears throat> okay, so there's just these two areas. All right, so let's let's head up and let's see. Whoa! Hi. Almost got me, you little prick. Ooh, why do we have why do we have frame rate issues? All right, nothing there. Keep going, please. Keep going, please. Don't kill me. Thank you. All right. Ooh, claw marks on the wall. Hey, two keys. All right. And there's us playing hockey, I think. Is that hockey? Something like that? 
I always liked hockey. It was always my favorite sport. That and rugby, I really enjoyed. Oh, hey. Oh, crap. Mark's on the wall. Oh. Okay, we gotta, we gotta do this blind because I can't touch the... I can't touch the light switch. Oh, please, let us get through. Please, 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 please. Yes! Ha! Ah. Yeah, buddy. Oh, yeah, we made it through. Yeah! Anyways, um... <laughs> Alright, so show us... Show us... OTV with the buttons on the side. Show us... Show us the... I kind of wish I could, I could like, turn it on somehow. Like, like click a button, turn it on myself. Okay, so that area is, that area is clear. And, let's see. What other area is clear? What else is there? Um. <clears throat> that spot's clear, okay. Our bedroom is fine, that's good. At least we know we can go to sleep and be safe. You know, nothing's worse than the, than the thought that you're going to bed and you're not safe when you go to bed. Okay, now I have a feeling if I get close to this, he's going to jump and I'm going to die. Oh, guess not. Awesome. Cool. Oh, look at the fire. It's a nice little, nice little fireplace going on here. Oh, that's neat. That's cool. Although, where's a... I need, I need a key. Can I sit there? Nope. Oh, and he's out. And he's back in. Oh, man. I gotta get past there, too. And he's gonna jump me. Crap. I am so dead. Alright. Just, just go. Just go. Just go. Run, little girl. Run. Okay, we made it. But I need to check that. I've got two keys. But if, if I only have two keys, where the, where's key number three and key number four? Uh, I don't know. Okay, so that's clear. But it's not clear because he's right there. If I, I, want, I, gotta, I don't think there's a key there, but I, I, can't, I can't do anything about it. So I have three, or I have two keys. And I can't access anything. I don't know. Mr. Creepy sleeping in a... I guess I can only open that one. Well... What about my bed? Is there one under my bed? Nope, not one under my bed. Well, darn. How do I get the other keys? There's at least one, possibly two keys. I can't... Sorry, guys. I cannot recall how many keys I have right now. But there's... And he's still freaking there. But I don't know where to get the other key or two from. I'm curious. Uh, Alright, we're just going to have to risk getting killed. That's just all there is to it. Come get us, Mr. Crocodile. Not that well then where are the other keys? Did I miss something somewhere? Aw. A little little light on. I must have missed something. I mean, we're we're gonna die, that's just all there is to it. But I had to have missed something. Whoa. What happened? Oh, the light went out. Okay. Yeah, I must have... I missed something somewhere, guys. I don't know... I don't know how or what, but I did. And this I can't open. Hmm. Probably because I've already gotten the key from there. I'm... I'm really confused. We're just going to brave it, because at this point, we're... Yep. I figured, as soon as the light went out, he'd get us. Because they only move when the lights are off. 
So, or when you can't see what's in that area. So, well, crud, how can I advance if I can't find all the keys? Maybe I'm not, I might be not looking anywhere. Or everywhere. Let's, let's take a glance at one more. Uh, a youth detention center? Why is, why is Laura getting sent to, uh, to a, a youth detention center? Oh, good, more story. Okay, what's this? <clears throat> Laura, please, I need your help. Come to my house as soon as possible. I saw my plushies. They're alive and want to kill me. Evidence proof, please come. Don't tell anyone about this. If you're reading this and I'm dead already, please use the camera inside the box. Record everything inside my house. Remember that fire cleans all the problems? What? Is this... Oh, what? What? What is this? Yeah, she's just like... She's just staring at it and... Uh, um, what? What in the world? Three days ago. Laura's diary. Yamato Kinosuke was my best friend, but one day he burnt his house. Oh, jeez. I don't know why. Now he is in a youth detention center. I hope that he is safe. Wow. He set his own house on fire? Holy crap. Oh, and now I'm playing as him. In a youth detention center for setting your own house on fire. Uh. <laughs> Holy jeez, I'm glad that worked. I thought I was dead. Like, he immediately did. Oh, okay. So now we're playing as, as uh, Laura's friend, I suppose. Let's see what's over here. Let's, let's look around. Oh, that's it. All righty. Wow. That <laughs> that was messed up. We just opened the closet, and there's a there's just something sitting there. Holy jeez. So this is Laura's friend, and he apparently burnt. Whoa! That was really fast. Ooh. Oh, wow. Oh, that made me jump. Oh, holy crap. <clears throat> he just came flying so fast at your face. Like, the other ones, you were kind of geared for it because it wasn't quite as fast, but that was just like... Oh, wow. Anyways, guys, I think I'm going to leave this here. This, this kind of took a dark turn. I mean, okay, it's one thing for plushies to come alive and kill you, but it's another for the dude to set his own house on fire to try and get rid of the plushies. That's, ooh, that's messed up. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed the episode. Until next time, take care of yourselves. I hope you have a good day, and goodbye.